First, a wide area would be deforested in order to clear all vegetation. Then, in the strip where the track had been projected, the topsoil would be removed until a solid base was found. Then on this base, the curbs were placed appropriate to the chosen width for the road. Large stones were placed between the curbs to serve as foundations, and on top of them smaller stone layers all mixed up with fine aggregates to fill the gaps. Finally, the surface layer, a mixture of gravel, sand, and clay was added. Tipper carts moved along the already compacted layers to deposit the material for the next layer. After tipping out heaps of material, it had to be spread out with planks, watered from barrels, and finally, compacted with rollers. It was a continuous process until the last layer, the surface layer, was finished, which was composed of carefully selected materials of the highest quality. On its surface moved the traffic of carts and draft animals. The final geometry of the road had slightly sloping sides to allow rainwater to be drained outwards and away from the road. And a relevant fact recently discovered, about 20 meters from the road on both sides, ditches were placed to prevent access to the road from unauthorized vehicles. These ditches, the existence of which have only recently been discovered, also increase the visibilities of one's peripheral view, avoiding any surprise from wild animals, and they also made life difficult for possible highway robbers.